Hello everyone and welcome back. I'm Panda Fox and today in Vox Edit we'll be looking at how to edit the pre-made templates. If you haven't already, make sure to check out my first video on Vox Edit. Don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button. I will really appreciate it if you can do both of those. So we're going to jump right in into Vox Edit. I will put a link down below for you to be able to get Vox Edits completely free. So yeah, click that if you if you haven't already got Vox Edit, you'll find the link below. Okay, so once you open up Vox Edit, this is what you're left with. In the last video, we looked at Modeler, sort of doing the basics of Vox Edit, how to use most of the tools. To do templates, they have recently added this, really like it, go over to templates. They've got lots and lots of different pieces. So you go to click avatar, if we're going to do avatar, and we're just going to pop it into this one and we're going to call it person one. Save. So this is what you are given when you enter. Um, after you save, it will bring up the person. So as you can see, they've changed a few bits. Before we didn't really have female or male heads. You would just have a set head and you would edit it how you like. Now it seems like we do have a female chest and a female head down here. And we can tell that they're not linked because over in this corner in our library, that's where all our assets go and you rig them up. But this is a template, so it's already made for you. You don't have to worry about the rigging or anything like that. It's already set up. Um, but yeah, they've. you can see there's little triangles, which means they are in fact attached. So to if you wanted the female chest, if you wanted to do that, what you would need to do is unlink chest A. So you click here, unlink, and then you would grab chest B and you'd move it over to where chest A is. And the same with the head. But just for now, we're going to concentrate on how to edit what we've been given right now, how it looks. So you can do it one or two ways. You can either go straight over here, click the little pen tool, it'll take you into edit, or you can click on the skeleton area and there's a pen tool here and it will take you again. And it's quite helpful. I do prefer doing it this way because um, on the skeleton side rather than the image side, the library side because it will show you the rest of the skeleton below. So you can see where everything is attached. Should we make him into a little bit of a, yeah, let's make him into a Christmas elf. It's Christmassy, we'll, we'll make him into a Christmas elf. So let's make his lips a little darker. Skin, oh, actually the skin's probably perfect for an elf. Like that. And then what I like to do is the nose is really flat here. And also with his mouth, maybe we can... Oh, no, we're on the wrong tool. Maybe we can make him have a little smile. Wow, that's a little creepy. Maybe if we bring his smile down and ooh, use our little eyedropper tool. Actually, no, that's, that's worse. That's worse. I, I think I preferred it like this. Maybe. With the nose, what I like to do is, oh, I dropped it all, didn't work. There we go. So I like to give it a little bit of volume. Obviously, you can trim and do whatever you want with it. So you wanted to give your character a more pointed chin or chop bits off. You can definitely go down here, maybe. Hmm. I don't like it quite sticking out like that, actually. Like, yeah, like that. That that looks better. Maybe if we just do that. Nope, too much. And then in the middle, so well, where's our skin? Oh, that one there, right. And then maybe give him a colour right there. Like a bum chin. Oh, actually, that's a little bit more. I don't like it. Right, there we go. Gotta make sure this connects with the neck. The nose is fine. Uh, the ears need work. So we've got to make them a little bit pointy. So we're not going to do a whole big 
big change on him. Now, because I want him wearing a hat, because he's an elf, we're going to just chop down some of his hair. So what we've done is choose the erase tool and chosen the face tool and we're just pushing everything down. Uh, I think maybe, yeah, one more. That is superb. Now let's give him a lovely little... So I think, yeah, we'll just do that and what I want to do is have maybe some of it coloured there. Yeah, have it coloured for a lower level. Maybe have the hat come down a little bit at the back. Actually, no, nope, don't like that. I do like it like that though. Um, and have it... I actually think that looks good. Oven there, right, perfect. Have that brought out just a tad. Okay, that doesn't look too bad and we'll just fill in that gap. And then elves wear, what is it, green hats elves wear? So straight up, just the green, actually no. I'm going to have it on the inside a little bit more. There we go. Beautiful. And then we'll fill in this lovely little section right here. There, nice. And I'm just going to cheat a little, do it that way. It's looking all right up again and we're just going to finish this off I'm not going to go into too much detail obviously you guys can go in a lot more detail if you like and then just oh right okay so this is what happens once you reach the top we've got these tools up here which do our axes so height we can up it so we can press 40. We're not going to need 40. Not going to need 40, but just show you it does, does increase in height. There we go. Looks good. And we'll go with the white at the brim of the hat. And he needs a nice little white bubble. Now, I do feel like maybe we've just done that a bit too high. Just shimmy it down a little in some places oh no i like that there great no keep you there there we go there right i i actually like that maybe chop down just those corners and oh not you you there perfect i like that not quite christmasy elf but it's it's looking good also, I'm not sure what elves have a very strong chin, but this guy does. I like the blue for his eyes, so I feel like I don't really want to change that. Um, obviously, you can make the heads a bit bigger. So, And also, brown for his hair. Do we like that brown? So, recolor hair, super simple. Just grab those. I also feel like maybe... Yeah, no, I like it. I like it. Just, I'm going to do his eyebrows a bit smaller. Oh, not all of it. Going to do his eyebrows a little bit smaller. There we go. At the corner, that doesn't look too shabby. Quite like that. He's a smiling little elf. Actually looks quite happy, doesn't he? Let's add just a little bit of hair right there, I think. There. Nice. I like that. And then... Please don't forget as well, click to trim your volumes. So click that and it will just make it so it's all secure. In the, it's secure. So it will make it all compact in the box. Have the, um, have the size just exactly right around him. Make sure you click save. And there we go. Now he's got, he's got his head. He's got his head. He's got... Wow. Okay, I think... Yeah. One second. With his chin. I definitely think that maybe if we go like that, it might look much better that way. So that's what we're going to do. 
yeah, okay, I'm happier with that chin. So, and the same goes for pretty much everything on him. So you just click and you click that, go, yes, I want to change his chest. And you just start colouring it in. A lot of the times what I do is I will select like a base colour that I'm happy to start working with and I will colour the entire thing in that colour. And then I will start working around it, sort of mould around that. So it's an elf, definitely want a similar green. Maybe not the exact same green, but a very similar green as what he's already got. And we'll just colour all of that in. Now, where his neck is, I definitely want to have his correct skin tone as if there's an opening there. This is where it memory comes in handy. So go here and just make sure, either write down what the code is, uh, but just make sure you remember what um what the palette is, what the palette colour is. Otherwise you will be having a lot of back and forth. Right, yep, it's that one. Now another important thing to remember is Z fighting. You don't want to have any Z fighting happening when you uh, when you've finished. So that's why it's important to definitely check out everything. So um, as you can see down at the bottom here, there are different animations. So you you definitely want to be testing them out and just looking around. Like making sure, like, can you see any of that Z fighting? If you don't know what that is, it's where you'll see sort of like little black Zs or just when two colours are mixing and it's not blending well. Uh, oh gosh, he's he's falling there. That might not be the best one. You can obviously pause it in different situations. So if you can see down where his arm is, we haven't got Z fighting, but we do have a part of his arm that is peeping out of it. So you'd even need to have the colour be exactly the same, or there are small little cheats to get out of it, which would be to get hold of the body part. So the little cheat way is when you go into this, click your pivot and you can move it slightly up and down. You definitely want it to still be connected, but just enough where maybe the colours aren't hitting or um, where you don't get the Z fighting on his top. So we're adding a little bit coming out. Actually, no, I like it more if we just colour on him. Um, sometimes just having the colour is much better than than adding more blocks onto it. So, and let's have maybe a zip coming down here. Does that look like a zip? Looks more like a bow, right? That kind of looks like a zip. No, it doesn't. That does. And then we can break up as well, maybe the shadowing on this. And make it look like it's zipped up. Right, so that's the correct colour. So if you want it to carry on, you would have to see where it goes and just play about with it, really. Like, come in and out of it, look at where it is. So it doesn't really go very well there. Is there anything else I need to show you? So we're not going to fully finish this elf guy. Maybe next time if you want to see me edit a full thing. But I feel like those videos would be quite long. I'd have to have it where I'm not recording myself in it. And I do like maybe a speed build type situation. But yeah, they're the basics for how to edit a template. Now, the humans are a lot easier because... Not too much needs editing. There's been a few times in the past I've done a few where there's space themes. <coughs> <coughs> so the space themed ones I've had to make um, 
extras around their arms to kind of make it look like they've got a gun for an arm where it's built up at the back as if they've got a space helmet that has come down they're on like a breathable planet or they're just getting into their gear um yeah so you can obviously add lots and lots going around um a lot of the times with the females as well because it is just like they've just done an additional chest and head part um whereas if you want to maybe give them a dress or something like that you do need to build outwards uh, people have gone about it a lot of different ways i like to start at the the stomach sorry not the stomach um i start at the um, bottom part of the torso so i'd start around here and then um, go on to the belly with f like having the dress come out sometimes working on the legs as well and testing testing all of these making sure every single one of these you don't have z fighting so as you can see this is why we need to color the underneath because in certain positions, their parts aren't exactly all aligned on top of each other. And then to save it, you can either just click save or you click to exit. I will be showing you how to do some rigs in the future. Small rigs, I've never put like an entire person together. I've always just edited the existing templates because they're there and you can pretty much do whatever there. It's just everything is attached. I hope this video helped you understand how to edit templates in Vox Edit. Leave a comment down below with any questions or if there's anything you want me to cover, let me know. I'll be doing some Vox art builds in the future. Don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe and find me on DLive where I live stream. Um, check out my other videos on Axie Infinity and other crypto based games. And I will see you next time. Have a good morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are in the world. Goodbye.